everybody, this is Lisa, and I am here today to do a um, video on a Mrs. Grossman's order that I put in from her website. Um, some of you might have seen my videos with unboxing or unveiling her um, new sticker club kit, um, and I just wanted to show you guys that um, I had realized after seeing somebody else's video that this cute little um, set of puffies stickers that you're supposed to put like on your cell phone or your computer or, or something, um, they are repositionable, but they had accidentally left it out of my envelope and so I emailed them and their customer service over there is amazing and Kathy got it out to me right away. So. Yay, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, I I have not opened this box yet, and I've got it about a week ago, and I wanna open it today because there is something in here that I want to give my son to, to play with this evening. So um, I should probably be using scissors to do this, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. scissors like right here that I can grab. Thank you. So, all right. That's better. All right. So, all right. Oh, it's not going to show you that. Here's my receipt. Okay. No, I have bubble wrap now. I was looking for bubble wrap the other day. I should have opened this the other day and it would have had my bubble wrap. <laughs> That's okay. That's always how that goes. All right. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. All right. Um, I'll just start. I will take everything out of the box and get this big box out of the way. Um, all right. So, um... This is one of the things that I got for my son, who is three. So um, there's a bunch of these different sets. They, these are, then they do feel really thick. These are um, some zoo animal stickers. They also had like dinosaurs and oh, I'm trying to remember what else off the top of my head. They had like cats and dogs and like a fairy kind of thing and princesses I think like all kinds of like girly things and then they had like more neutral kind of like I mean I would think zoo animals could be for anybody I mean my son probably would like to play with fairies and stuff too like I don't think that bothers him at all so if he really likes these I'm totally down with getting him the fairy sticker set to play with so um so we'll see but he is really really into animals right now um he collects like these these tube animals like they're called T O O B and they come in like a long skinny tube and you can get them like Target, Michaels, Toys R Us. Though Toys R Us is closing because they're going bankrupt, so I think they're closing like this week. So I should probably run over there and get him something before they close. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I got him, and so it comes like this. I'm gonna actually open this because he's just gonna want to dig into it. Anyway, so this was um, $7, and it is ages 3 and up, so it is perfect for him. And so, let me get this. Um, oh, this is really cool. So these are, like, really thick. I don't know if you guys can see, like, how thick that is. I want to say it's, like, maybe an eighth of an inch in thickness if I am... Um, guesstimating correctly but it's nice and like rubbery and yeah like these are really cool like I have gotten him repositionable stickers before but they're like really really thin and so um like when he was younger he would have a little bit of trouble like picking them up but this like gives you a nice nice ridge here to um to like grab onto so right on the front here, there is that elephant and there is this giraffe. 
and there is this little parrot. So these are great. Like I thought that these were going to be like the really thin ones that I had always gotten for him. Um, and then on the back here, we have a little tiger. We have some penguins. This one is a swimming penguin and another little penguin. And my son just came home, so I'm going to have to not let him see this until after his nap. <laughs> um, and we've got a polar bear, a grizzly bear, a moose, um, a brown bear, a rhino. I like rhinos. They're so wrinkly and cute. Um, a lion. Um, I want to say this is probably like a mountain lion and a cheetah. And I always get leopards and cheetahs mixed up. Um, an alligator, another parrot, a zebra, some kind of monkey, um, like a, this is definitely like a gorilla. This is maybe a baby gorilla, chimpanzees, not, I don't really remember, and a toucan. So you get all of these animals, um, and I really like this, how they're thick. So if you open it up, man, oh, this is fun, okay. So right over here, um, it gives you the names. I mean, he won't be able to read this yet. We're working on his alphabet, but it has the shape so that every animal has a special place for it to go. Um, and then you have this scene here so that you can, you know, just like play with the animals and make a sticker. So I am really excited about this. He's absolutely going to love this. Um, and I just love that they're repositionable because he loves getting into my stickers and he, unlike me, who I just hoard my stickers until the end of time, he will just go through like packs and packs of stickers in like a span of a minute and he will just stick them all over my face, my clothes, my butt, like wherever he thinks it's fun to stick a sticker, he will just put them and he'll try to peel them up and use them like again and again, even if he puts them on paper and then we end up just throwing them away. So I am all about these repositional ones. And so it actually gives you the names of them. So yeah, there is that one that was a little chimp that I wasn't sure about. And there, so there were both chimps and then the gorilla. So that is what I picked up for my son. And I think that there's actually um, one other there's one other thing in here that I got for him as well. Yeah, two uh, two things actually. Um, so, which is pretty much the same thing. These I got for him also. Um, these have the same animals, and that doesn't bother me because he loses stuff all the time because he's also going to want to play hide and seek with these um, because that's what he does. Um, this larger one was $4, and... Um, so this here is the same, sorry, I was filming this, my, my mom had taken Owen up to the library, but they just got home. I was like, oh, I've got a nice quiet little block of time to, to film here. And of course they came home right when I was filming, so it got a little noisy. Um, yeah, so these are the same, the same stickers as the other one. I think they are even... Actually, they're a little bit smaller, so they're not quite, like if you see um, this one here is, is smaller. So they are different, like that's for size reference right there. I think these guys like right on top of here. And these stick really well. So you can see that they're a little bit smaller, um, but this is just, basically this is just like a miniature version of of this one so this is like a really big scene that he can take and then this one has a whole bunch um of the animals from the larger seat, sheet but not all of them the larger set and this one as i said was four dollars and then it's got like the the back here is like a little scene that that they can play on so um you know he can stick these whether whether he wants to use this one like this, um, you know, I might start out just giving him like the little, the little sheets. Um, I don't know. 
but I just thought the more animals for him, the better. And I was kind of curious to see like the differences between these. Um, so, and then this one was 250 and you'll see this one has just a few animals. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight animals. There's eight animals. I mean, but for $2 and 50 cents, like for these big, thick, repositionable stickers and you know I like that he can just use these with his bigger set that I got him um, so these um, are actually like the rest of the set I think of animals um, that are not on this one so and I think that there's still not even quite as many so with this the smallest set you get eight this one you get five seven 13 um, and then this one has 24 it says right there there's 24 so so you're still missing three because even with these together that's only 21 um, so you get some extra let's see that's the rest that you get with the with the big one um, and again like these and these guys are in actually different no this is the same one so let's see this parrot is the same as that one, which is a smaller version of this one. So I don't know if you see the size difference there. Um, so that is that one. And then, yeah, so these are all basically just slightly smaller. So the ones that you don't get are the, is it an elk or is it a moose? Let's see, it is a, Elk. Oh, that's right. All right. So you don't get the elk in the in the smaller sets, and um, I think there's like less penguins. Like I I see there's like the mama baby emperor penguins there, um, but the one that I don't see is this guy here that is swimming. So I don't see I don't see that one, um, and. I think which other one, which other one is not included in these. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry guys, my, uh, my video cut out. Um, so I think I was just telling you guys which animals were different between the sets. Um, so... Um, if you get like the little sets, there are a total of 21 animals between the two sets. Um, there's 24 in this one, so there are just a few animals that you don't get. And the ones that you won't get um, in this one are the elk, the black bear, um, the polar bear, and then I think you're missing like one or two of the penguins. You get um, you get a double of the parrot so like even though even though there's 21 animals in here like this guy is the same in both of the packs um but yeah i mean like most everything like if you were only to get these two you would get almost pretty much almost everything um but i mean this is the extent of the scenes that are on the back um, I put these back in the packages because my son has a an obsession with opening packages and everything, so he'll want to dig into those himself. Um, so I just, I think, you know, for me personally, I think the bigger scene is much more fun to play with. But, I mean, you know, this one is, I want to say this one was $7.00. This one is two fifty, and this one was four dollars. So, yeah. So I mean, it just it depends on what your kid is into and likes to do. But I think um, I've not given this to my son yet, but I think he is going to really enjoy it because he is obsessed with animals. So, all right. So those were the animal sheets. So, um, in the very first video that I did, we were 
given with the first um, Sticker Club subscription a heart um, kaleidoscope, sticker kaleidoscope kit. So I had so much fun putting that one together that um, I decided to go ahead and order a couple of the other ones. So this is the Over the Rainbow sticker kaleidoscope and it is so cute. There's obviously some rainbows and the Mrs. Grossman's teddy bear, some kitty cats, a heart, um, ice cream, panda bears, unicorns, dolphins, stars, ducks. Yeah, so that one's going to be really, really fun to do. I really like the colors of that one. And then the other one I got um, was the Fairy Garden Kaleidoscope. So um, this one is really cute, and I thought that for spring it would be really fun to do this one. So there's some toadstools and fairies and gnomes and butterflies, birds and frogs and like a cute like pink and purple striped bumblebee. So yeah, so those were the two new kaleidoscopes that I got. Um, I think it took me, it took me about 15 minutes to do the heart kaleidoscope and it was really nice. It was, it was totally relaxing. So, um, I might go ahead and choose one of these to do, um, at, for the end of this video today, because I have been pretty anxious about my interview that is coming up next week for like my dream job. So I've been kind of stressed out, so I could use a good 15 minutes of just putting some stickers down honestly. So I think I'll probably go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, I just have to decide which one to do because I want to save one maybe to do for my next video. So yeah, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet, but I will do one of those. Um, okay. And then I already mentioned that this was supposed to be included in my first sticker clips kit subscription and was left out accidentally. Um, so these are the um, puffy stickers for the like your electronic device like your cell phone or computer or iPad or whatever. Um, so before I realized that I was missing this item, I had actually placed my order on the website and I picked up this one with all of these really pretty swans and so there's a lot of gold in here and some flowers and some crowns and a black swan and yeah so these are the stickers that go on your cell phone these are five dollars and they are completely removable um they're you know it says that they are repositionable and they leave no residue so they're supposedly very easy to swap designs um, and these have a little bit of dimension to them. I don't want to open these right now, but I just wanted to show you. Um, and I do have a funny swan story um, that I think I'm just going to go ahead and share because it's really cute. Um, it was kind of sad, actually. I took um, Owen over the summer, or maybe it was last spring or over the summer. but um, So he was like about two and a half, and I took him to the duck pond which is about 20 minutes away because they have a nice like big long nature trail that we like to walk and um so it's just a really really beautiful calm place to take him and get some energy out a lot of walking to do and he can visit the ducks which he loves to do um so this one day that we were there um like usually the majority, like usually there's like some ducks and stuff up on the grass, the geese, there's a lot of geese there. Um, but usually like the swans are always swimming. Well, there was like, there were these people there that had been feeding them and we're not like, there are signs like asking you not to feed the ducks there and everything. But, um, well, there was this one family there and they were feeding all of the, like everybody. And so the swans were actually out of the water. These guys are big. Like I had no idea that swans were like as big and as aggressive as they were. And one of them actually like just 
reached out with its beak and like bit Owen on his arm and he was fine. Like he had, I mean, he just had a long sleeve shirt on. Um, it was warm enough so we weren't wearing a jacket, but I mean, he cried of course, because I mean, it hurt like a little bit, but he was, he was okay. Like he didn't get like bit that hard, but it mostly like startled him. And of course I like, I scooped him up right away. But anyway, why I say that this story is funny is because he's like, it's okay, mom. He was a really friendly swan. I was like, well, you know, he wasn't exactly friendly if he bit you. He's actually like kind of aggressive. But now like every time he sees a swan since then, you know, like obviously they're not the same swans, like whether it's a real swan or a picture of a swan or like a cartoon or a sticker or like anything that has a swan. He's like, oh, that's the swan that bit me. <laughs> so it's like, no matter what swan it is, that's how he remembers a swan. That's the swan that bit me. So it's okay though, because he was friendly. <laughs> He's just so funny. So yeah, so that's my swan story. So yeah, so now I've got two sets of puffy stickers for my electronic devices. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of other stickers. Um, some of these, um, so I ordered the stickers in between getting the first and second sticker club subscriptions. So some of these I actually received, um, in my latest, in the second, in the March, um, sticker club kit. Um, but that is okay because you only get one sheet. Um, in those and in these you get depending you can get anywhere between one sheet and three sheets depending on you know what the sticker is um, and I have a planner buddy and we like to exchange like packages in the snail mail and so we have a lot of fun putting together different themed packages with that um, and so some of these like for her next package her spring um, spring Easter E themed package. I wanted to include some of these in that anyway. So I definitely don't mind having extras because I was going to be sharing and I like to have enough of something for myself always if I'm going to share because I think I told you guys already I'm really not good at sharing. Like if there's something I really like, I like to have it for myself too. So I kind of tend to buy like a backup <laughs> so that I have one, my friend can have one. So yeah, so these, um, these first ones here, so let me like put these aside. Um, these first ones are, you guys have seen if you watched my last video, but I'll show you again in case you haven't. Um, so these are really, really pretty. These are, um, and I don't want to take these out of the package right now. So I hope that like the plastic wrapping is not going to bother you guys, but, um, these are hearts and rainbows and shooting stars. And they're so pretty. There's a lot of gold foil and that's the thing like on the website, you really can't get an accurate picture of like what the stickers look like because so many of them are so much more beautiful in person than they look just on the website. So, um, because like she does like use a lot of, of gold foil and like, well, not even just gold, like, you know, colored foil too. Um, and that makes the stickers a little bit more special. And like you totally like on the website, it, you know, it just looks gold, but like you have like no sense of like how shiny these stickers really are. Um, so I picked up, I picked up this, so there's two sheets in this one. Um, and then also in the last kit, I got these really pretty, you might be able to see how beautiful these holographic butterflies are. So I was excited when I got both of these actually in the sticker club subscription because, um, you just can't have too many. And so there are... There are two sheets also in this one. So they're so beautiful, so shiny. So I'm excited to have some of those so I can send some to my friends because I got an extra sheet in the kit and I've got two here. So that's gonna be so nice to share with her for, for spring. So 
so pretty like I could just sit here and play with this I think it's so therapeutic so yeah I mean as I said I've been really anxious lately so to just kind of sit here like watching the the colors that pop up when you <laughs> shake it so yeah so those are those are just beautiful um and then I had seen I had seen these alphabet stickers um which also like I don't know if you guys can see that the gold is foiled um so I saw these um in an ad with the little um planner kit boxes like that work really well in like a mini planner she has like a little sheet of like planner stickers and she did it like an advertisement and like this had them in it and I just really thought these letters were so adorable so um, there's just one sheet of these but I really like them a lot so I got those I was excited for those um, and then I basically um, tried to keep the stickers that I was picking out themed for me to use for like spring and Easter and that kind of thing because I knew that I wanted to have some things to to mail to my friend so um and I knew I would probably get more stickers at some point because I'm a sticker addict um so I thought that these guys were really cute um so there's only one sheet in here too but these are just really pretty like I don't know I don't know how well you guys can see but like the unicorns have little hearts spots like inside of them and they're just adorable so yeah I just thought that those were really cute and I really like to do like rainbow spreads in my planner so you know I thought that that might just make a really cute little decorative element if I just picked a bunch of like rainbow boxes and checklists and stuff that I could like make a cute little spread with those um and then of course I had to pick up the llamas because all right so I know there's the whole like planners gone wild group that has the llama as their mascot but you guys I have been into llamas for so much longer than like I've been planning so like I've been into llamas way before I knew about the llama was a mascot for like the planner group because I knit and if you knit chances are you're gonna meet a llama and an alpaca or two if you go like visit any kind of farm where they sell yarn and you know just so yeah so we have a local llama farm here that Tabitha runs from Long Island Yarn and Farm and she's awesome and yeah I mean I've loved llamas for forever so I have no problem buying llama things because it's it's totally non-planner related for me the llamas so I just had to get that out there um because it's not like a trendy thing for me it's like a llamas are cool because they produce the yarn that I knit with thing so that's why <laughs> but so I picked this up for that reason because I thought they were really adorable and there's little cactuses cacti I guess you would say and some little flowers and decorative stickers so so I got one sheet of those um and then I thought that these would be super cute to use in my planner um for like little weather icons um because they're really tiny so like you could use them in like a mini planner or you could just use them in your big planner you can use them like at the top of like the page if you like you track the weather across the top or something um so and these have like I don't know if you can see it all but they're like a little bit sparkly so there and there's just some like little umbrellas and some rain clouds and some rainbows and some suns in there so I just thought that those were super cute for spring so there are those um and then I think I got some of these chicks in my sticker club subscription as well but that's okay because I wanted to be able to share them with my friend so um she's probably gonna end up watching this video like 
before she gets her package in the mail so she won't really be too surprised by some of the things but um, obviously these are really cute for spring and for Easter so these little chicks there's three sheets in here um, and then I got the Easter eggs also in the sticker kit so again I was already planning on sharing these in there so I thought that these were really cute there's three sheets in here so some cute Easter eggs um, and then I also got some of the grass which I also got in the sticker club subscription so I've got a lot of grass but what I um, if you did not watch my last video these strips of grass are three inches long I did measure them so um, you know if you were really careful and cut them in half at exactly an inch and a half you could put these like at the bottom of your planner box that are in conjuring boxes are um, an inch and a half long so are the happy planner boxes um, I mean wide you know not tall but the the wide so you could like you could cut these up or if you have a horizontal planner like this would probably look nice across the longer space um, so I thought this would be really handy to have both for spring and summer so I have that and the last couple of things I got I think I got I know that I got the bunnies um, in the the little spring package that I got too um, but again they're so cute I can't remember though if they were the same bunnies or if they were different bunnies but they're probably the same I don't know why they'd be different um, but so cute so I mean obviously this is something that I intended to share with my friend in her little Easter package so those guys are adorable I've got three sheets in here and then the last one that I picked up were these cute little jelly beans because I mean come on jelly beans for Easter it's just perfect so so that's everything that I got um, you know so some duplicates of what I had but to me I'm totally cool with that because if I didn't like them I wouldn't have bought them so obviously because I bought them I knew I liked them already so yeah so I'm really excited to have a whole bunch more stickers to work with so I think I am going to say goodbye and tell you guys to be sure to subscribe to my channel and all of that stuff um so i am going to just decide really quick which kaleidoscope i want to do and get everything set up to do that and i will end this video by doing one of those sticker kaleidoscopes so you guys can see how that turns out and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next video. Okay, bye. kaleidoscope it's so super cute um, I'm a little bit annoyed with myself for laying down this very first sticker in the middle just ever so slightly too high I mean like I covered all of the image like that you're that like traces it that shows you where to put it below it but like I'm s ever so slightly off so that you can 
you can see the spacing just right here from top to bottom like this flower needed to be just a little bit lower but I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not too terribly obvious um, I mean I guess unless you're like really studying it um, I don't know to me it's like super obvious but I mean it's my own fault some of these were really tricky this time to lay down because like the birds were a little tricky because they were so small um, and the fairies too with like the arms and the legs like they're so delicate so they were this one was definitely definitely trickier than the one that was just all hearts just saying so yeah so um I forget um I don't know what age let me see it says on here um I don't think it gives an age level for like kids or anything I think it's just like yeah I mean it doesn't it doesn't say so I was gonna say like just like if you had a kid that was gonna do this this particular one might be better if your kid is like probably at least like eight <laughs> I would think just because of like I mean, I'm almost 40 and it, it was difficult. I mean, it was easy, but I mean, just, you know, there were a couple of places where like, because like, these are not repositionable. Like I was trying, I don't know. I'm sure you guys could see me like trying. I was trying to lift up like this bee and this sunflower, but um, like once you stick it down, it is down really good. So kind of be really careful with your placement. So anyway, um, that is so super cute and one day I will frame these um, I'm not gonna bother doing that before we move into our own place but I'm gonna put these aside and then one day in my studio or in my office or something I'm gonna put these in frames and have them decorate the walls because they're just happy so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.